In this video guide, we will be discussing the employee profiles as well as how to set up custom fields for additional data points on the employee profile. So if I jump into my profile here, you can actually see the typical data points that are currently captured, um, such as their title, if they're a driver or not, their employee number, their location assigned, and so forth. Um, so this is where all their access and um, information is stored on their profile data, which is also housed under the employee section where you can search in here as well and get that direct link to anybody's profile as well. Um, so once we're in the employee profile, a few things for the title, location, slides of business and companies, those are actually housed in the control panel under this list section. So if you need to add any additional items on here, you would just pop into these sections and be able to add additional job titles and then it becomes an option housed right on the employee profile from there. Um, the first button is that edit button to edit those fields. You do also get an option to print the profile summary as well as any of those notifications you set up for that user. You can confirm them by clicking view messages or they can also set up individual notification settings for when those forms are being filled out and they can receive copies of those as well. And then lastly, they can add a new task um, these all will be determined by the roles and permissions on what they can edit, but as an admin, we can edit the full site. Any employee that's added will automatically have their QR code automatically generated to their profile data so that that is unique to them as well, as well as their training records, any acknowledgements they signed off on, if they're the supervisor or mentoring anybody, equipment assigned, and then if they did have any reports that they filled out over time, they would populate down here as well. They can also set the preferred time zone, which is your company's default, the language on their profile as well, and then it also shows any connection for um, iPhone or Android devices that have logged in for this profile as well. To add additional data points, those are actually set up in a different area. Um, so in the control panel under employee settings here is where those additional custom fields are set up for employee profiles. So for example, right now we currently only track the hire date, but if you wanted an additional capture for an additional date, such as their rehire date, you can add a custom field for that. So here we'll just click add right here and then you'll go ahead and type the name of the field and then the type is whether you want it to be that text field, a numeric field, a list option which I'll show you how to create a listing option or that date field. In this case it is kind of a date field so we're just going to click the date option, click done and then that now that would be a date capture for me. Um, as well as you saw we can add additional items such as if you wanted an additional spot for maybe their home phone number, you can have that be text or numeric, and then they would only be able to type numbers into that option. The other option I wanna show you is the list option, but first we actually have to create the list first. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down here and make sure to save those changes so I can save my two custom fields I've already created. Now that I have that saved, where we create the list is also back in the control panel under this custom data list. So again, these listings here give you those options to populate data to their profile, but we also have an option for custom list called data list here. In here, we have um, a couple of them already created. If you wanted something that was maybe like a training category and assigning training off of a certain category. You can always create those as well. So you can do a training category. And then in this, I'm gonna add a new hire training category, a field training category, and then one for office. And then I can assign my employees to that specific category and then assign training based off of that. So now that I have my custom list created here, we'll just save changes. And now that becomes a data list in my data list section. And will allow me now to connect that back on that employee setting under a list. 
So if we go back to the control pa panel, we'll go under the employee settings here. And then now we can add a new option here for that training category. We're going to do that list option, select training category from the list. And again, if you didn't see your option in that list option, then that would tell you, oh, I must have forgot to save it or something like that, or didn't create the data list yet. And that will just remind you to go into the data list section and re-add that or create that list so that you can have it as a pickable option from here. So now once I click done, Again, same thing, I'll just scroll down and make sure that I save my changes so that that takes on the employee profile. And then now if I go back to my employee profile here, now it houses all of those at the bottom for rehire date, the home phone number, and then that training category where I can edit this profile, tag certain categories as needed, type in a phone number, and save my changes from there. As you can see, they can also change your photo right from here and view any open tasks as well that are assigned to their profile. Um, but that's pretty much it for the user profile. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to support at kpaehs.com. Thank you so much.